Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today I'm here with another foundation review for you. It just launched last Friday and I purchased mine the day that it launched on Sephora.com. You can also purchase this on HudaBeauty.com. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. We are going to test this out together today. You know the drill. I'm gonna show you how it applies, how it wears on my skin. I'm gonna give you all the details on it and all of that jazz. And before we get started, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge, you guys. Let's get on with the review. Okay, so before we get started, if you're looking at my brows thinking what the heck is wrong with her eyebrows, I just had my eyebrows re touched with microblading two days ago so they're super dark right now it's always dark for the first week they will lighten up quite a bit just try to ignore that if you can't let's talk about this little baby right here first of all I love the packaging the box is super cute with a little ombre um, coloring I just love it I got the shade toasted coconut which is 240 in. Here is what the packaging looks like. I think it's just super simple and sleek. And of course it has a pump. The 240 in is for deep light skin tones with neutral to golden undertone. So it really gives a great description. This gives a medium to full coverage. It says that it's good for normal, dry, or combination skin. I'm not sure how this would do for you oily people out there, but right now my skin is normal to definitely dry. I have a bunch of breakouts happening right now. You guys know I've got a lot of discoloration on my face. We're just gonna see how this covers everything up. It looks like there is 30 shades in this range. It looks like a very, very good range of colors from super light to very dark. Dries to a radiant powder finish and if you have oily skin, setting it with a thin layer of translucent powder gives the most incredible, flawless, all day matte look. So there you go. It does say that you can wear it with oily skin, so that's good. I think I am going to use a brush today with this foundation and see how that applies to the skin, and I may go in with my beauty blender, but we will see. I paid $40 for mine. 1.18 fluid ounces, so you get quite a bit of product in there. To start off, I'm just going to pump a little bit of the foundation onto my little palette here and sorry it's really really dirty because I've got other foundation on it but I want you to see what one pump looks like and that is one pump it does not look like much I'm gonna use the Sigma flat kabuki f80 brush and I'm just going to dip it in here oh it's really really thick it's a thick foundation y'all I'm just gonna start on this side I'm just gonna dot it on my face and start working it in. Oh, it smells really good. Oh my goodness. Look at this coverage. What the world? Okay, I don't know what the color looks like on camera, but the color match is actually really, really perfect. Because of my brows being done, I can't get any makeup on them for seven days, so I'm gonna be really careful to just go around the brow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This side of my face I have not touched, and this side has one, like the tiniest, tiniest bit of foundation. Not even a half a pump on this side of my face. I did not put any primer on this time. I always put on primer, but I didn't put any primer on. I didn't put any pore filler on or anything like that, and my pores look almost invisible. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face with the little bit that I have left. Same one pump that I used to start with. And I'm kind of using a stippling motion to put this on. All of this redness that I had down here from my breakout, I still have just a little bit right there, but I mean, it covered, it covered everything. I can tell right away, it sets pretty quickly, so I probably wouldn't like dot it all over your face and then go in and blend it. I would kind of do section by section so that it doesn't dry on you too, too fast. It's definitely drying down to like a powdery type of finish. Feels like a foundation that you really wouldn't even need to set with powder, but I'm going to set it with powder because I always do. I'm just gonna use about a half more of a pump, literally just like, <sighs> 
like a dot. I'm just going to see how it builds up right on my cheeks where I have the most discoloration and on my chin. So I'm just gonna, I cannot believe how far this foundation goes. It doesn't feel cakey on the skin, even though it's super full coverage. Right now, I am kind of sort of impressed with the finish of this foundation. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and see how everything goes on. And of course, I'm gonna come back, give you kind of my initial thoughts on how everything works together, and then we'll check in throughout the day and see how this foundation wears. I will be right back. All right, I am back and I have the rest of my makeup on and you guys, oh my gosh. Do you see how flawless this foundation looks? I can't stop staring at it. I can't stop staring at it. And what's really crazy is when I added my powder, it almost like made it even more airbrushed looking and close up everything looks amazing it's not gathering in my fine lines it's not getting all crepey and weird around my breakouts my pores look good which is really crazy because i didn't use a primer what do you guys think like what do you think about this foundation right now it is currently right at one o'clock so i will wear this throughout the day i will give it at least eight hours of wear i will come back at the end of the day and let you know how it held up show you exactly what my face looks like if i got oily all of that jazz stay tuned we are back so it is now nine o'clock p.m and i put this foundation on at one p.m so it has been exactly eight hours i have not touched my face one single bit. I'm definitely a little bit oily through my T-zone, around my forehead and on my nose and chin. That is honestly where I typically get oily if I'm going to get oily. I feel like it didn't make me so matte that I felt like my face was just going to crack, if that makes sense. It just felt so comfortable on the skin. Looking up close, you can see Like even up close, my skin still looks good. My pores still look good. The makeup has not broken up at all. Like my contour, blush, highlight, everything is still showing. I have been rubbing my nose a lot, blowing my nose quite a bit. So there is some foundation that's rubbed off, but that's honestly my fault. I do see where it has kind of rubbed off just a smidge on my breakouts down here. Overall, this foundation is bomb.com. I definitely give this two thumbs up. It definitely gets approval from me, and I honestly can say that this, this is one of the best foundations that I have worn in a long, long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression review. If you guys have tried the Faux Filter Foundation um, or plan to try it, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it um, and what other foundations you would like to see me review on my channel. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.